Hey guys, uh, I am Chad. I am Partsman26 on the Retro Junkies. And this is a pickup video, so I appreciate you guys watching. Um, I have Jurassic Park for the Genesis. I, <clears throat> I had Jurassic Park for uh, Super Nintendo. I liked it. People kind of give it crap, but I, I enjoyed it. Um, I don't know. It was all right. Uh, this may be different. I don't know, but uh, we'll check it out. We have RPG Maker 2 for the PlayStation 2. Uh, this is an interesting game. Really involved. Uh, you basically build your own towns, uh, story, characters, enemies from the ground up. Really interesting. Uh, Soul Blazer, part of the Illusion of Gaia series. Um, I'm also looking for Terra Enigma. Uh, if anybody has any leads on that, I appreciate it. I got Soul Blazer pretty cheap. Uh, I got this from Nick D. Nick D's Video Game Vault. Check him out on Retro Junkies or Nick D's Video Game Vault on Facebook. Great guy, great service. Um, Double Dragon for Super Nintendo. I, I, I enjoyed this game. It's a beat em up. Uh, great little beat em up game. Uh, I also got this from Nick D. Again, check him out. Minister for Sega Genesis. Part of the peripheral for uh, the light gun for Sega. Um, it was basically the answer for Super Scope on the Super Nintendo. Uh, I don't know. I don't have the light gun again. Anybody have any leads on that? I'd appreciate it. Thanks. Eye of the Beholder. Got this from Game Exchange Saturday. Uh, great. I don't know. It's it's Dungeons and Dragons. It's it's fun. Capcom. Can't go wrong there. Clay Fighter Tournament Edition. Uh, Super Nintendo. Got this from Game Exchange also. People kind of give this game crap, but I don't. I don't know why. I mean, where else you going to find his Elvis, right? Anyway, big fan of Quake. Quake 2 on the Nintendo 64. Uh, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Nintendo 64 controllers, although I've, I have started to figure them out. Um, I've yet to pop this in. Um, great little game. Star Tropics. Big fan of Star Tropics. I don't know what happened to my copy. Uh, I guess I lost it somewhere. It's, you know, probably in atrocious shape anyway, but that's okay. Um, also, yeah, okay. Got Star Tropics 2. Got this from Nick D. Uh, great guy. Um, again, can't say enough good things about him. Um, got this for pretty cheap. Milton Bradley Cabal. Great game. Fun, so addictive. I love these old Nintendo war games. I mean, they're they're great. Uh, Taito, Operation Wolf. It is a zapper game, although that is not a re readily apparent on the cart. Like, you know, usually they'll they'll have a little icon down on the left bottom, uh, whatever it is. But that one does not. It's okay. Anyway, Bio Freaks. I got this in an antique shop. I don't know why they had video games. I actually went in there to get something for my wife. I don't know. Ended up buying video games instead. It's okay. I went to K's. <laughs> anyway, Tomb Raider, again, from the antique shop. These were a dollar a piece. Duke Nukem was the third and last from the antique shop. All three of those were a dollar a piece. They were great people i don't i don't know i'm i'm pretty happy with duke nukem i don't know what they're doing with the new one i don't know why they did that but that's okay tomb raider for dreamcast love tomb raider sega rally dreamcast mdk2 for dreamcast weird controls i don't know i i enjoyed it once i got you know used to the controls um the movement buttons are actually your right hand on the, um, you know, your action buttons and all that. I don't know what they were thinking, but that's okay. 
Um, Scooby Doo Cyber Chase. Got it for my kids, right? For my kids. <laughs> Casper, again, for the kids. <laughs> I love these games. I mean, they're a real guilty pleasure. I don't know. I love these kids' games. They're, for the most part, just as fine as anything else. Um, Wild Metal for Dreamcast. Fun game. Blaster Master. Got this from my buddy Nick. Ah. Uh, it does have the box, no manual, but that's okay. Got a sleeve and all that. Um, it is a very, very fun game. So incredibly underrated. It's usually in, it's usually pretty cheap. So anybody looking to pick anything up like that, you know, that's really underrated. You should check him out. All right, got me some Super Nintendo games. This box actually just walked in. The guy said, give me $20 for the box, and I was like, okay. I thought it had mostly sports games, but apparently I'm feeling kind of bad now, you know. The conscience is kind of, but, I mean, he gave me the prize, so, you know. Anyway. <clears throat> now, these had $10 tags on them, and at first I was like, how much you want for this? He kind of made me nervous, but he just, I said, how much? And he said, $20 for the box, and it's like, oh, wow, all right. But anyway, got Miss Pac-Man, golf, bass, NBA, Tecmo basketball. Love me some Tecmo. Who doesn't? Good at what they do. Spawn. Great little beat 'em up. Great beat 'em up. Um, pool. Whatever. It was in the bundle. I was going to use this as trade or whatever, and then I actually saw other things. I don't know what he was doing. Um, Mario Kart. I don't know. Toy Story. Illusion of Gaia. I've got a copy, but, you know, again, I'll use it for trade or something. It looks better than what I have right now. Um... Tetris, love Tetris. Zelda, Zelda, yeah. RR, appreciate you riding on the cart. Thank you very much for that. Pet peeve, sorry guys. Adam's Family Values, I don't know, odd game, but that's okay. Rocco's Modern Life. Not a fan of Nickelodeon games, but that's okay. I don't know. It was, it was fun. I kind of had a hard time figuring out the point in it, but that's okay. Um, Donkey Kong Country. Again, these games were a dollar a piece. I don't know. Um, now, I'm not arguing, but I'm kind of like, well, I hope I didn't hurt the guy, but jeez. Yoshi's Island. Super Bases Loaded. And Super Off-Road the Baja. Um, great game. Great racer. Underrated. Um, I enjoy it. Always in. I had it when I was a kid. Great racer. Check that out. Um, and that looks like it is it. Uh, thanks, guys, for watching. And I appreciate everybody from Rob and Landon and Nick D and and Nick Stevens, 90s Nick, you know, uh, Brent, I did have a Donkey Kong Country 2, but I made a gift to him. Uh, great guy. Um, also, go to Retro Thought Pod. Check out Michael and them. Uh, great guys. Great thought. Great, great um, podcast. Uh, Retro Junkies podcast, Turtle Flakes, all that. Go over there to RetroJunkies.com. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. Bye.